we will be having sharing from Niti Didi, Niti Chirag Sasthe. So Didi has been involved in many UHV activities for long. She has been a faculty member in Sanjeevini College of Engineering. She has been conducting this UHV sessions in their college and uh, involved in online as well as offline UHV activities as a facilitator and a co-facilitator and involved in many other projects and activities of UHV. Namaste Sabiko. My name is Nidhi Chirak Sajde. I am working as visiting faculty. So I worked uh, in the last semester for conducting uh, sessions on UHV two subjects at my college. Uh, currently I'm staying in Dombivali. And uh, with that, I would like to share uh, the understanding I was able to have uh, while we went through this morning session. The first exercise with that, I'm able to see the changes. So we started this exercise in January, 2021. Uh, so this time while I'm going through the exercise, I'm able to notice the changes in every step. And with that, what my understanding has been for each of the step. So exercise one is observing the self by the self. Uh, while we started with this exercise, it was very hard to uh, note that some imagination is going on, but that started. And the major change which I'm able to see at this time is I am able to observe myself. I am able to see to the imagination what is going on in it. I am also able to see the feelings sometimes, thoughts and expectations also. The major change which has happened particularly with this time exercise is earlier it used to be difficult for me to uh, observe the feelings which are there. So this time I'm, while something is going on, what is the feeling behind that uh, thoughts or expectation that I'm able to sense while I'm aware. This um, awareness at every moment is not happening, but yes, uh, noting the feelings most of the times while I'm aware has started. I do evaluate this, but as we are supposed to observe it without evaluating it, this time the change which I'm able to see is, while I notice that this is the feeling, I do not have to take much effort in changing the feeling. It is like I just note that what is going on at this moment is not comfortable and that very moment I am able to notice the change which is happening in the feeling part. So that connects me to the second step that at this moment, the feeling I have is natural to me or not. So uh, we had this proposal as we started listening to the content in the workshop that check with your natural acceptance, uh, relationship or opposition. Every time that answer used to come as a relationship, but I think up till this time, that answer was very much uh, connected to what information I have. Like I want to have feeling of relationship because then uh, I'll be able to have good interaction with the other person. And at the information level, I used to relate with it. And yes, then naturally the answer is relationship. But this time I'm able to see, then when we, when I'm able to verify that step within, at the level of the feeling, what 
changes are happening when it is naturally acceptable i am very much comfortable with that feeling and i am able to see that is it in accordance with human nature or not if it is in accordance with human nature i am at that very moment whatever task i am doing i am very much comfortable and i want to continue but here i slip i have a feeling which is naturally acceptable but then as i go ahead as i um, uh, lost my awareness uh, for my imagination uh, i shift to mm, any another feeling which is not naturally acceptable but i am able to see that this awareness if increases then the state within me of being in comfort being in harmony will also increase that possibility i could see for myself so with the third step this uh, noticing it has started happening that the feeling which i have within me is leading to some contradictions within me or i am at harmony this time that change as i mentioned has started happening that i am able to verify i am able to notice how it is changing when so i start with for example uh, a feeling of a relationship and i am very comfortable at that moment but because of some action by the other person or because the interaction with the other person is not going so smoothly so when that change in the feeling is happening that i could notice many a times and i could also see that it is making me very uncomfortable when the feeling is not naturally acceptable it's that i started observing then if it is change in the feeling then who is making the decision is it i or somebody else is deciding the feeling so this also i could see that there are times when the other person might be for example uh, shouting at me or the situation outside uh is there is some chaos like many people are there so many interactions are going on around me and at that moment also if i am aware it is i who is taking the decision what feeling i will have and what feeling i can carry within me so earlier it used to happen that i would get dragged with what is happening outside so the person is for example shouting so immediately i will have this thought that i also need to shout back i also need to get angry i also need to get irritated so this used to happen now i could see that the moment i am able to see that it is i who is looking at this who is uh, observing this it is i who will be taking the decision and immediately that shift is happening that whatever is happening outside i can choose what i want to continue with this awareness in a day may change like sometimes for the whole particular day i am aware some other day uh there are some moments when i am aware and there are moments when i become completely unaware like i am i i call myself then as a machine who just keeps on doing the things not aware of what is happening but whenever this awareness is there that i am able to see that this is the decision i have taken and i want to continue with it with that when i started looking at it whatever particular feeling i have at this moment of relationship or opposition then i am taking the decision that is true 
but then what is the basis of this decision and uh, i would just mention that this is my favorite step where i could go step wise and i could see it for myself that this is why it is happening with me i am associating some meaning to uh, whatever is happening outside it could be uh, any sensation or it could be any event outside but it is i who gives the meaning to it and that step wise execution of it happened within me and i was able to notice many of my sanskars which are leading me to take this particular decision at that time or to have that particular feeling at that time and this is what i could see that most of the times it is my assumption which is leading to this particular uh response from my side or reaction from my side uh, i could verify some of my assumptions which are naturally acceptable but still they were assumptions so uh, for example uh, i have this uh, sanskar i am not sure if this we would call it as a sanskar but this is how i could devise it that i have this sanskar of um, not uh, seeing anything in reaction to people who are elder to me for example so I, i would first grasp what they are saying if it is comfortable for me i will carry on with that work if it is not and if i do not want to carry on with that work i would at least not say anything to them so this is how i would go ahead every time now here i could see that it is i who is reading their words which are coming to me i am deciding that i need to taste it and then i am associating some meaning to it that whatever words they have spoken i am going to give meaning to it that it is good for me it is not good for me or it is good for people around me whatever it is that i it is i who is taking that decision earlier it used to be like they are saying some words and i am i have to follow it compulsorily that change has happened that this compulsion which i used to carry that is not there i am able to see that it is my decision and whatever feeling i have at that moment i am whether i am getting influenced by it or not this i am able to notice and with that i am able to decide my feeling that whatever uh, they are saying to me uh, it is it is i who is going to take that decision and when i have a feeling of relationship towards them then i don't get influenced with it then i respond then i decide what kind of expression i will have outside so this way i am able to carry with this step now coming to the sixth step which feeling is natural for me that is feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition because this time i was able to observe that that whenever it is feeling of relationship i am comfortable this observation happened within me so i would say at this step relationship is what is naturally acceptable to me harmony or feeling of this harmony with that of course with the feeling of harmony i want to continue and when it came to the feeling of coexistence so i used to get uh, confused at this feeling of how to relate with this coexistence so this time while i was going through this exercise particularly i was able to notice 
that when it is feeling of coexistence i am able to notice it for everything around me that feeling with everything around me so for example uh, if i am aware and uh, if the tap in front of me is open somebody else has kept it open with the feeling of coexistence i am able to see that i have this relationship with that water as well as i have relationship with that other person earlier it used to be like i would see the relationship with water and would uh, within me i would have reaction for this other person that look they do not understand that uh, water need not be wasted but this time i was able to see when i see my relationship with everything around me then i am able to take the decision that now what i need to do is go and close the tap so this shift happened very naturally then there is no fight within me earlier i would go for doing that action but that fight within me would go for a very long time this time i was able to notice that the action which i am doing outside is is in harmony and i think that a uh, feeling of coexistence very at not at all places but at least at few uh, times i was able to get the glimpse of that feeling of coexistence and with that i was able to see if i want to uh, increase this time of uh, having that feeling of coexistence within me of harmony within me of uh, having that feeling of relationship within me then i will have to ensure it within me first and to ensure it i will have to uh, work upon myself more and more i will have to have the times in a day for separately for observations or at the start of the day at the uh, end of the day while i go to sleep so this kind of program i need to have more so that decision i have to take so that this program continues and i am able to observe the changes which are happening in me as i go through that program particularly for a day so as i mentioned so on a particular day i am aware most of the times but the other day i lose that focus so now at this time with this first exercise i am able to uh, see that earlier it was uh, i would do many things but i was not able to see the purpose of it so this time for me this major uh, thing has happened that i am able to see that if the purpose is clear to me for doing any of the smallest of the thing then i am able to continue with that work with the feeling which is naturally acceptable to me so this was particularly about first exercise then second exercise observing the self the body and the interaction between self and the body so with the first step i am able to see that Uh, Nidhi ji, there and the body is also there. Ji, Nidhi ji. Ji, ma'am. Ah, uh, namaste. I was just thinking if you could relate some of the incidents, maybe in day to day living also, that may have impacted something that you noticed. That will also be good to for the people to relate to or to see. Ji, if you have any instances that you. could notice change in behavior or say your you know in your interaction with your spouse other people what they noticed about you or what you have noticed in particular living incidents that also will be useful if you have some so uh this exercise 2 step 1 i am able to see that i am there and the body is also there and this information exchange between body and this me are happening and uh, it is i who is taking that decision so when 
the exercise started i had started doing this activity that i would in between uh, tell myself whatever work i am doing i would say stop and i was just trying if that is true or not that it is i who is taking the decision in between i would say start so this was the starting point of it and now i am able to notice that whatever smallest of the action is happening um, at the level of the body some uh, processes which are happening at the level of the body except that so outside what is happening that i am able to uh, decide it for example i would think that when i start writing it is uh, like i am st i have started writing and then the writing continues but i was able to notice that whenever i decide i will be able to stop i will be able to uh, decide what to write when to stop so uh, while doing the household work also i always used to have this confusion that while for example i am uh, cooking so this is very kind of monotonous activity that every day i am cooking it the same way but now i was able to notice that it is i who is deciding at each of the smallest step that what to add what not to how much to add in a particular dish this is what is the decision i am taking and the body is following it so while i am uh, for example reading the sensations from the body i am not the sensation so earlier i used to uh, get this confusion particularly about this step why um, what is the need of having this step what is the need of seeing the distance between self and the body so this time i was able to uh, notice that this uh, distance we are noticing just to see that i and the body are coexisting the purpose is to see that the connection between me and the body is not a hard wired connection so many a times earlier i would uh, feel that uh, when i say i whatever uh, image i see for myself like in the mirror when i see myself that is what i am so with that i would carry most of the things but now when i am able to see that there is this distance so whatever is happening at the level of the body would come to me in the form of this sensation and then i will be deciding whether to read the sensation or not uh, so if there are some moments of pain some uh, or some other sensations are there then it is i who has decided this that i want to read it or not so particularly for this fifth step i was able to notice this time i had decided some uh, month a month back that i would start eating only when i get this feeling of hunger so the sensation of hunger when i started doing this for the first 8 days it so happened that i was not able to notice that hunger it it is like at for example 12 12 30 i am eating every day but so at 12 12 30 i used to uh, looking at the watch i would think that oh this is the time to eat and i should eat but that hunger sensation i was not able to read for almost 8 days what used to happen if it is 1 o'clock after that so some time passes and then i used to get irritated that what is happening to me i am not able to notice but i i am not able to read the hunger so i can't eat so this way it happened for 8 days and then one day i was able to notice that hunger at the right time and then i had my meal so this difference i was able to make out uh, with this step that my interaction with the body or world outside is happening with this sensation part and 
when i take that decision i am able to read that sensation and with that i can go ahead so now i have started doing this that i will eat whenever i am hungry i will drink water when i am thirsty so i should be aware this much that this uh, sensation i am able to read um again with this this uh, sanskar step was there that i was able to uh, note and many of the sanskars i have started noticing uh, particularly i would mention uh, here this one uh, before we started with morning sessions i remember i used to have this uh, kind of a uh, feeling in me uh, many a times in a day that uh, i would get some sounds uh, in me like the sounds of uh, something clashing over one another and that was actually that voice is not there outside but that would run in me so much that i would close my ears that uh, some clash has happened Uh, so i used to get this feeling many a times that there is some accident there is some clash or something is falling and with that i used to get fearful about anything and uh, this will happen particularly when uh, my daughter is not around so i would get the sound and i would feel that something has happened to her or any of my family member if they are outside and they are not coming in time then i would have this kind of uh, sounds going on in me of some accident happening clash happening and with that i would get fearful with this exercise particularly i am able to see that this has reduced to a large extent even if i am getting such sounds running in me i am able to uh, say myself that uh, we have gone through this and i am able to notice that we are self and body and even if some injury happens we can cover it up we can treat it so this way some uh, thoughts are going on in me and i am able to ensure my harmony earlier i used to get tensed about it and i may have wasted like one or two hours thinking that my family member has got hurt and i can't do anything so this change has happened this time while i go through this exercise uh, now these were the steps where i was able to work a little uh seeing to the next pointer um happiness is my innate nature and not the effect from outside so here i would mention some of such incidents which are helping me um uh, particularly with uh, one of my family member i used to have this um not clash but i remember that whatever they will say to me i will um, always consider that as uh, some bad thing they are telling to me and i used to get hurt with it so particularly my in law side so i now i am able to see that uh, with the exercise steps all of the steps now it is no, it is not that particular one step is running in me but uh, with the series of steps when i look at it i am able to see that whatever words they are saying to me it is i who is giving the meaning to it and with that meaning i am changing my feelings for them so this time i was able to notice it clearly that with their words or their actions that hurt within me has reduced to a greater extent and the next thing which i have noticed is earlier i would not react to them uh, like in my words or in my actions also i would carry that hurt within me and with that i will continue but uh, that feeling of opposition to a very large extent would be there even if the work i am doing outside is like i am doing the things very well i am not saying uttering a word in front of them but 
that opposition is there within me and that would reach to the other and with that the next interactions also would be leading to conflicts but now this change i am able to notice that even if they are saying something to me it is i who will decide whether to get hurt with it or to see that the other person is not having that right understanding at this time they are also having their own sanskar and with that they are continuing so immediately that shift in the feeling is there and with that now the other person is also not leading to many such uh, interactions uh, which are creating conflict so automatically that count on interactions conflicting interactions has uh, reduced so i am able to notice this change that it is feeling which reaches the other the moment i am comfortable the other person would continue with their words uh but that would not go longer that would immediately come down uh then of course the great uh experiment lab for me is my daughter and with her most of the times those moments of harmony or disharmony would happen and uh, when we started with uhv and uh, when we met uh, ganesh sir in pune that time she had shared that my mother is a better mom now but uh, now she is uh, able to notice that change in me and what i am able to notice is um it is not happening that she has completely changed or i have completely changed but uh, we both are able to notice that change Uh, within ourselves that for example what happened we are uh, at the face to face introductory workshop uh, we went to chandwad for last 3 days and now we are uh, at this college uh, engineering college at ashti uh, satara sangli so uh, what happened is she was uh, communicating with one of the person uh, in the previous workshop and that person was um, uh, not treating her well like they were teasing her and uh, i was able to notice that this tease this uh, teasing thing is happening and it is happening frequently so i got very disturbed with it that uh, this person should understand that she is such a small girl and they should not tease it to such a longer time so one or two times if it happens then it is fine why to take it so long so that she gets disturbed but i was able to notice uh, earlier she got disturbed with it uh, she got like she got angry at them that why you are teasing me this happened but uh, after some time when she came back and met the person she was very all right she was not caring that with her that uh this person is the one who is teasing me so this change i am able to observe otherwise it used to happen that she would remember the person and would say this person always treats me like this so i don't like this person now that is not happening and that person uh, had given me a call after the workshop and said we are i am sorry extremely sorry that i teased your daughter very much so she was hearing that conversation uh Uh, of ours over the phone and she could guess that uh, with whom mummy is talking so she took the phone from me and told that person uh, not to be sorry i am fine i don't carry it with me so don't worry next time we will meet happily so this change i am able to notice um with me also it is happening and with her also it is happening and i am also able to notice at the same time that i have this bag full of my sanskars so all of the things would not get resolved earlier uh, when this exercise started i used to be very uh, nervous about it that if i am going through uh, so many workshops i am listening to the proposals sharing it sometimes then why i am not able to bring the changes to my life immediately 
but now i am able to see that it is slow and gradual process and when it is happening with one incident i see the possibility of it happening for others also when i become aware when i am able to work on myself and for the uh, first time i would say that i am able to notice those moments of happiness and i am able to see that it is my innate nature it is not the effect from outside and i need to work for it and hence i am um, able to decide that how much uh, time i should um, allocate for this work uh, and my commitment is uh, at this time um, not more than 2 hours i am able to uh, spend on an average for uh, this work of right understanding and right feeling so for that particularly particularly what i am doing is listening to this uh, videos of exercise so in the morning we are going through it uh, but i could see it when i am going through it again during the other times of the day it is helping me to observe it carefully listen to it uh, properly and uh, this time i have started writing all of the things in my journal so um, i have this list of sanskars uh, written i have this uh, interactions written uh, in my mother tongue of course that if this incident happened what was happening in me what did i do what i should have done to make it little better so this writing part is helping me and i am able to notice when i write then i do not have to spend much effort again on analyzing it so this writing part while i write it it is helping me to get rid of it uh, to a certain extent and uh, the time for social responsibility um is again of course i want to spend most of my time doing that only earlier uh, i remember i used to share it with my husband that uh, because um, i am engaged for a very little time in workshop or uh, for conduction of uhv2 classes when th that is not there i have time so i should go for doing some part time job but now this decision i am able to make for myself that uh when we listen to this proposal on uh, prosperity uh, immediately i thought yes i am prosperous but that did not continue with me many times many occasions i used to feel that i should work i should earn that will help me ensure my prosperity but with his help my husband's help i am able to see that uh, this assessment if it is rightly done as a family then uh, even if this one person is earning then we will be able to sustain very well and with that i want to devote more and more time for uh, uh, doing this task of uh, sharing the contents whenever possible to the maximum many other uh, works i have tried to a very little extent like uh i did many voluntary activities but for me sharing the content is the most comfortable um, work i can do and uh, for that i want to devote more and more my time uh as i see that when i am sharing that sharing itself is bringing my attention and when i am sharing i am very much aware that awareness quotient is maximum when sharing is happening and that is helping me for my self exploration so this is the work i want to continue and uh, of course other uh, tasks are also there uh, i am seeing that i used to take lots of time for uh, uh, doing any activity if it is uh, video cutting part i would take many hours for it to cut a one short video also because um, 
I used to have lot many questions behind doing any task. Um, and when I went for this physical workshop uh, face to face, I could share my concern. Um, and I was able to see that this clarity of purpose I don't have behind doing each of the tasks. And so there are many questions for each of the small uh, thing. Also, I have hundreds of questions. So now I am able to see that if I work on this clarity of the purpose part, the time which is getting wasted in analyzing and thinking about it much, that can get resolved at the level of the feeling and the purpose. And now I see this possibility that I will be able to uh, do more and more things in less time. Uh, I was not sure how I will be able to share this time because uh, this, uh, while we were going through this exercise, many uh, things happened uh, at the level of my family also. Uh, we went for Kanpur visit also. And uh, I was li like, a uh, time has passed very fast this time while we were going through the exercises. But when I sat for preparing myself, I could see what changes this time exercise conduction has brought in me. And this sharing has helped me to look at it. So that was the finding for me. One last moment I would take just to uh, share this incident. There was marriage in my family of my uh, sister, cousin. So I was able to um, see to it that I am aware almost um, most of the times uh, for those three, four days while the functions were going on. And many ma such incidents happened of, to which earlier I would have reacted, but this time it was response within me. And uh, um, uh, whether outside people were able to notice it or not, I don't know. But one of my sister had shared it at the end of the event day uh, that she said to me that Didi, uh, I am able to notice that uh, many things happen, like in marriages, there are many things going on and we all used to react why the girl is not getting ready, why they are not doing this, why like so many things are there, but I have not seen a single reaction on your face or in your behavior. So I am amazed and I want to know how you did achieved, how you have did this. So I think now I always used to worry how I'm going to take this ahead in my family. I got that very small point to start. And I thought with one sister, if I can start, I can take it to whole of my family. So thank you very much. I took a longer time. Thank you so very much. Thank you Nididi, for this long but useful sharing for all of us. I would say. So you have exemplified your uh, transformation with a lot of examples especially the example uh, with your daughter, as you mentioned, it has great experimental lab, your daughter, the changes in your daughter, changes in yourself, the interactions. There are many things, your commitment, then the happiness is innate nature. There are several things. The last example also was very nice. The change which others also observe. Ji, namaste, Sabko. Namaste, Nidhi Ji. Uh, very nice to hear you as always. Um, I I always um, you know I'm appreciative of the point wise uh, with diligence how you go through each point and try to see it in yourself and even the questions that you always asked in the you know sessions um, it shows how you've been reflecting within how you have been um, sort of going through the points within yourself in your practical life and uh, what you shared of course uh, we are also able to see in your interactions with others even in the quality of the questions that you are asking and um, your sharings from time to time in the sessions and along with that 
um, all the work that you're doing, the volunteering work. Uh, it is uh, wonderful to have you, you know, as part of the team and somebody who is um, despite whatever uh, problems one may have had or despite whatever uh, like i can see you know the sharings from sheila ji and ranjana ji and i think uh, to some extent um, you may also be able to notice that uh, when you hear sharings like that how um, your sharings have changed from earlier till now and what you have gone through and how you have um, emerged from all of this, the confidence with which you take the sessions, all of that is, uh, it, it is a reflection of your own evaluation improving from time to time. So um, all the very best of wishes and uh, appreciate your volunteer work also and being part of the team also and all the good work that you are doing all the very best Nidhiji. thank you so very much ma'am thank you for uh, meeting us in person and this uh, meeting uh, the team members has helped me a lot uh, with the online interactions of course Thank you so yeah. very much to each and everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Shimla Didi. Thank you, Niti Didi.